it's time for another top five. Hey Pinnacle Studio peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today I'm going to bless you guys with the top five features in Pinnacle Studio. Now these are my top five, not your top five. So if you have a different opinion of what the top five features are in Pinnacle Studio, leave your list of the top five in the comment section below. Also, if you think I just left something off the list, you can leave that in the comment section below as well. Now that I got all of that out of the way, let's jump into the top five features of Pinnacle Studio. Coming in at number five, we have movie templates. Pinnacle Studio allows you to create movie or project templates of your timeline to speed up your workflow. When you select to save a movie as a template, Pinnacle Studio creates placeholders that allow you to replace the elements of your project without having to start over from scratch. You select which clips you want to keep in the timeline and where you want to add placeholders. So, if you use an intro, outro, or other footage for every video, you'll have those clips saved and ready for your next project as well as placeholders for adding new footage. You'll need to change the timeline mode to replace mode so that you can add assets to the placeholders without shifting things all over the timeline. Saving the day at number four, we have effects compositions. If you're tired of creating effects over and over again, and you find yourself using the same effects in multiple videos, then this is the feature for you. After you apply an effect to your video or photo and make any necessary adjustments, just click on the friendly neighborhood save icon. Then you'll be able to retrieve the saved effect from your effects compositions and apply it to your assets whenever you want. So next time, instead of creating the same watermark, face cam, or PIP from scratch, just save the effect of the composition. The number three feature is projected to get a lot of love. Project bins. Project bins are virtual folders that are used to organize your assets into one location. They also save time by allowing you to quickly access your saved project as well as your files. When you create a new project bin and give it a name, Pinnacle Studio adds the new project bin to the end of the project bin list. You need to select your import function of choice and select the footage that you wish to add to the project bin. If you have trouble organizing your assets or finding files that you use to create a particular video, then this professional feature should be right up your alley. Gathering momentum at number two is media collections. A collection is a grouping of assets that you put together however you like. A collection gives you the ability to easily access files by whatever category or grouping you create instead of looking for the media on your PC or in your project bins. You can create a new collection and give it whatever name you like. Then you can drag and drop files into the new collection or you can set up subfolders within the collection to get to a whole different level of organization fanciness. Landing at number one, we have copying effects. Now you might not want to save an effect if you don't use it on multiple videos, but if you find yourself using the same effect multiple times in one video, then you're going to want to copy and paste it. The first thing that I want to make clear to everyone is that you can only copy and paste effects. You cannot copy and paste corrections. Effects are represented by a pink line at the top of a clip. Corrections are represented by a green line at the top of a clip. So, pink line yes, green line no. With a few simple mouse clicks, you can copy a single effect or multiple effects from one clip to another. This is a great way to streamline your workflow by removing repetitive steps from the editing process. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, Pinnacle Studio peeps, that's it. Those are my top five features, so what's yours? Leave your list in the comment section below. As usual, I want to thank you guys for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, I want to send a shout out to one of my subscribers, SUF Stand Up Fishing. SUF Stand Up Fishing makes videos about, guess what? Fishing. So, if you're into fishing, head on over to his channel. Check out a couple of his videos. If you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you guys want to get a shout out like SUF Stand Up Fishing did, make sure that you go to the video description and fill out my shout out request form. If you have a tutorial you'd like us to make, 
head over to the video description and fill out the tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk and chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do that, make sure that you click on the bell. Because when you click on the bell, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. And that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.